Oh, I'm back in my boat today, and there's a bit of sun, so I'm getting some motor. Dude, we are actually moving. <laughs> this is great. Got the barnacles off the boat. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Man, I love this boat. I'm not even pedaling right now. And the pedals, if they're at that angle, they don't they don't hit the water. Let me uh let me go visit my friend and just yell at him for a minute. Man, the steering on this boat is amazing. Holy cow. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, between that rudder and that motor, they both steer, so... Oh, this is really, really good. I've got, I've got a pretty good stiff wind coming from that way right now. And it is not pushing me around at all. Even with my motor at kind of, uh, I don't know, it's maybe half speed right now. Yeah, this thing handles great. I just hope I don't get a cloud. Because <laughs> I need to operate on my pedals, make them a little better before I really rely on them. I want it, the pedals only go, they're only like this wide, so they can go, they can be a lot wider and still fit. All right, let me just turn this off for a second and try to have a conversation with my friend. All right, I think my friend is, is not there right now. He did say he was doing some stuff today. <laughs> and when I turned the motor off and I was just coasting, I could still steer really well with the rudder. Man, the rudder is great. Here, let me get up a, a bit of speed. And then I can kill the motor. And yeah, it's totally, totally turned just on the rudder. That is great. Maybe I should, maybe I should do some pedaling too. The thing is, the pedals are too, still too small. I need to modify them. But uh, oh, everything's everything's great on this boat. I love this boat. <laughs> I forgot how awesome a boat this is. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, the, I'm not going super fast or anything, but uh, I'm getting some pretty decent speed, even with the motor at pretty low power here. Know, it's hard to it's hard to tell how fast I'm going. You kind of see the water going by down there. Uh oh, I just hit a cloud. That means I'm slowing down. I also really love having this. I love having the pedals because I, I can see the water. All right. I guess this is a good time to test just pedals since I'm I'm in pretty heavy clouds right now anyway. trim a little bit of stuff, I'll be able to make the paddles bigger. Uh, just on what I've got, let's check that I can even move.
Alright, I'm moving now. Oh, come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> 30 more seconds that I can be in. Oh man, now I don't want to stop, but I don't know what the sun's going to do. This boat barely fits. It does fit though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get a cover for that. Okay, so the steering is amazing on this boat. It's, uh, yeah, I have a really, I can turn real tight corners and everything. It's actually much better than that boat, which I've been driving a lot. And uh, like this boat, I have to make pretty wide turns. And it's mostly just because of the way the steering is set up. So here, the, the pivot point for the rudder's there, and then the rudder sticks out way behind it. So when the boat's moving, there's a lot of water pressure pushing the rudder to straight. So when I'm steering, it takes some force to, to force the rudder to the side to steer. So I kind of had to, you know, like gear it down. So the push rod here, or the pull rod, or whatever you call it, is connected pretty close in to the handle which limits the amount that I can move that but it makes it easier to to move now this one I almost made actually the same kind of rudder on this boat and then I was like wait 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 no if I if I pivot it here and then hang it out back it's just gonna have too much force to fight against because this is just a much bigger boat than the other one so I switched it to this kind of rudder which has the pivot through the middle almost. I left it hanging out a little bit behind so that there's a little bit of water force straightening it out. But for the most part, you can turn it freely. So uh, it's just a lot easier to turn the rudder. It's, it's not trying to force itself to straight all the time. So it can turn a lot further. And uh, yeah, pretty much from the bottom of this metal thing down is in the water, maybe even a little bit higher than that. And uh, it turns really well. And then plus the motor here, that also steers. So the motor actually, you know, puts propulsion in the direction that'll turn the boat. So even if I'm sitting still, I can go from a standing stop and, and start steering right away, which is really nice. Okay, what else? Well, I guess, I guess for the steering, yeah, everything, everything's functioning great on it. I just need to finish up the little things. So... The steering wheel here pulls on this string, which turns the top, whatever you call this, turny shaft, which runs the whole length, which means I can steer from the front of the boat, which is also really nice. But to finish this off, I need to put like a collar here so this can't slide. And then, you know, collar up in the front, or I could even just put two collars here just to keep it lined up right so that this pulley thing here is lined up with that so this doesn't end up having the strings come off or get bunched up here or whatever um but that looks like the only thing i have to do with the steering 
Oh, well, there's one other thing I have to do with the steering, which is, yeah, cut off this, this dongler sticking out the front. So I just want to cut it, cut it off there. And uh, here's a collar that was on the previous version of the boat. So I could just take out this metal pin, which is all rusty anyway. Put the collar where it's supposed to go, put it back in, cut this, and then the steering is good. You know, and a collar on the back. Um, the switch is amazing. It's in a really good spot. You know, it's easy to reach from sitting here. The steering is easy to reach from sitting here. And I'm going to have chairs that go here, which is great. I have two chairs coming. Thank you, Paul. I'm pretty sure it was Paul. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Um, so for the power system, like for the motor, Right now I have four solar panels, four out of the six solar panels connected through the switch. The last two solar panels, I'm just not gonna connect until I get the batteries, because that's what they're, they're gonna ultimately connect to. And if I connect them to the switch right now, I'd just be setting up a temporary thing. I have to undo it anyway. And I'm not gonna use the boat much before I get the, the batteries. So I'll, I'll just leave the last two solar panels disconnected till I get the batteries. Now the pedal system, I definitely need bigger, bigger paddles. Um, and I did leave space because the, the things are only like this wide, so I can make them significantly wider and they'll still fit. And there's even some space at the front here, but I'm going to have to trim like this, this, yeah, this edge, but just under there. So, cause right now the, the paddle thing goes like pretty close to the edge, but I can trim that and make it a little bigger. So I should be able to, at least double, but probably triple the the paddle area that's in the water. Um, yeah, and I have I have paint for the boat. I'm not gonna paint it till I kind of get everything else wrapped up. I also need to wait until there's a sunny forecast to paint. Obviously, I don't want it to get rained on in the middle of painting. Overall, I'd say that's a pretty awesome test of the boat. Yeah, everything's everything's going great. Just the paddle wheel, need bigger paddles. Everything else is spectacular. And I am super glad that motor still works because I haven't tested it in a while, but it looks like it totally functions. Um, <coughs> I did get some oil to put in the gears in the bottom of the motor. You know, the, the part where it's, the propeller comes out and there's gears and 90 degree thing. So I'll do that at some point. It does have oil in there. It's just old and dirty at this point. But uh, I'll put new oil in soon. Other than that, I guess I guess I should see about those pedals, the paddle, the paddle wheel pedal thing, because I definitely want those to be functioning well enough that if for some reason I have a problem with the motor, I can still pedal and, and get somewhere. Like you know, I want it to be I want it to be usable when I'm driving with the motor, you know, to give me a bit of exercise and get a little bit more speed. But the, the most important purpose is just as a backup. So if the motor, for some reason, has a problem and it, it doesn't function, I can still pedal and, you know, get to wherever I need to go, or get home at least. So I definitely want to make sure the pedals work well.